Welcome back to the channel. Today what I'm going to be talking about is the best weight and the best exercises for developing natural legs. And the reason I'm doing this today is because there's always uh, the misnomer of heavier and heavier weights will make you have larger legs. When that is not true. That's definitely not true for natural people because the only thing you're going to get from heavier and heavier weights is uh, the strength. And strength, again, doesn't have anything to do with developing the mass of a, uh, of a uh, body part at all. Strength don't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a... Uh, a right to the point uh, video on leg development. If you want leg development, the best exercise for developing legs would be the squat. And if you can't do the squat, the next in line would be leg press. But with the leg press, you have to also incorporate some type of uh, hamstring work. You have to actually separate the uh, quads from the hamstrings. Um, even though you can still hit the hamstrings with the uh, leg press, it's, it's, it's a little better when you separate the two muscles. Like if you do uh, stiff-legged uh, deadlifts or something like that for the uh, hamstrings when you, when you are doing uh, leg presses. It, it kind of helps separate those two muscles. Whereas the, the squat is an overall type of... Uh, leg exercise now if you're doing the squat this is the best weight to use when you're natural and that weight is anywhere from 135 pounds to 225 pounds that's it you thought I was gonna say something spectacular didn't it but that's it 135 pounds to 225 pounds it's the best weights for uh, developing legs, you know, and the reason I say that is because of blood volume, the amount of blood that's pumped into the legs. That's why people hate doing legs because of the amount of work that's incorporated with doing the leg exercises. When you do legs, it's like running a uh, marathon. It, it's it's going to take the wind from you, and when it comes down to me, <laughs> a lot of times I don't work legs into my off days because it's going to take me a couple of days to recover. And let's put it like this. If you could take a, let's start off with 135 pounds first. 135 pounds, everybody should be able to do them right. Okay. 135 pounds, five sets of 10. If you can get through that, then you are naturally strong enough to do uh, work your way up to the uh, 225 for five sets of 10. Now, if you're already at the 225 range, then that's that's the weight that you want to stay at. You just want to be able to have a um, control squats. You want to be able to have control squats when you're doing the 135 and the 225 pound weight category. But any weight between those two uh, weights, is, is, is okay for a natural person if you want to develop the legs and what I found to uh, that would allow more of blood volume is shorter rest intervals you know I mean as soon as I can uh, catch my breath and I feel like I can do another 10 uh, you never get out another thing this this, this right here is is mandatory this right here is mandatory. Make sure you stay within the 10 to 12 range for all sets. All sets. Don't drop down below to 8 or 6. I'm talking about 10 to 12 reps with 135 pounds to 225 pounds a solid weight. Not pyramid up or anything like that. A solid weight. 135 pounds, that's all you're using for 5 sets to 10 to 12. That's it. Or 225 pounds or 
150 pounds for five sets of 10 to 12 reps. If you're understanding what I'm saying, if you want to make your legs grow, that's the best way to do it, bar none, because you're going to get the blood volume, you're going to get the time of the tension, and you're going to be able to uh, activate those quads and hamstrings to their maximum. Now, if you're doing the leg press, you know, naturally, the leg press, the same thing. You really don't need over uh, four plates on the leg press. You, you can still get the same uh, pump and volume as with the squat, except when it comes down to the hamstring part, I would say do uh, stiff-legged deadlifts for the hamstrings or some type of leg curls because it don't take a whole lot to develop the hamstrings. Uh, leg curls are amazing for that uh, hamstrings. Leg curls are amazing for that. So that's pretty much it. You, you, you need volume. You need volume. You need blood flow when you're trying to develop your legs. If you keep trying to lift heavier and heavier weights, you're never going to get the blood volume. And you're never going to have the time and attention to build your legs. So stop trying to lift these incredible pounds just trying to develop big legs off of it because it's not going to happen. You'll be strong. You'll be strong all day long. But your legs won't grow. I'm just, you know, the, the, like I said, those tendons uh, uh, would grow. And, and, and thicken, with a, it would allow you to lift the heavier weights. But as far as developing the size of your legs, no, it won't do it. And uh, the thing about it is, is that one thing you're going to find is that the soreness in your muscles, simply because you're able to um, do the exercise properly, you're able to handle the weight that you're able to handle and uh, get the blood volume that you want to have, your legs are going to be far sore than they would be lifting the heavier weights. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.